how quickly we forget. The Democratic Party trying to launch RICO investigations for those groups skeptical of catastrophic global warming caused by CO2 just because they disagreed with the Obama administration. But when I look, I see undulating temperatures through centuries. And the late Maunder Minimum cooling seems to be matching up with what's happening today. This is the second Category 2 blizzard to rip across Europe in just two weeks. 120 mile per hour winds dumping another three to five feet of snow on top of the record snow that was just received a week ago. The lagoon and canals in Venice freezing over. Black Sea, first time freezing in 60 years. Coldest start to a winter back at least half a century in the U.S. And the New York Times will blame it on global warming. Corsica, that's because of global warming. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030. And a mere six months ago, Democrats and environmentalists launched a purge campaign into groups skeptical of catastrophic global warming. We're not allowed to have our own opinion or even question science any longer. You are committing fraud by even just disagreeing with the Obama administration. You're no longer a sentient being with your own thought. The state has to control what you think. Any groups that disputed the 100% guaranteed CO2 effect of global warming have been targeted. As an individual able to make my own thoughts and create my own reality, I look back at temperature records and say, wow, that undulated a lot and that moved up and down a lot without cars and factories back then. There's two temperature reconstructions here. The Eric is a thousand year and the Columbus is the last 500 years. And when we look at present day Europe, both Eastern and Western, we start to see matching patterns. And when I'd been fed my entire life that CO2, we were going to boil like frogs in a pot slowly. And then the U.S. winter starts off early in November that it actually was cooler than January temperatures. And then the canals and the lagoon in Venice have frozen over. Incredibly, even into the open water. And then the Black Sea freezes for the first time in 60 years. And the Danube... And the Tisa is ice clogged from shore to shore. And since these events are happening, I'm going to turn the finger back and say those of you on the witch hunt six months ago, trying to silence scientists talking about the grand solar minimum intensification. And not only at that time were they embracing prosecuting skeptics, but they also want to get rid of fossil fuels by 2050. And what, turn us back into a bunch of serfs that live by candlelight? So CO2 warming ists, how can you explain this second category three blizzard to roll across Europe in two weeks, dropping record snow? Now for a second time, this is across Spain, France, Portugal, as well as Italy getting blasted again with 120 plus mile per hour winds all the way over to the Black Sea, through Greece again, Croatia, right out of the movie Frozen, if you can believe it, down in Corsica record snow hadn't snowed in albania in 30 years sure enough this year though it did and when we look back at the late maunder minimum you start to see some matchups where these deep snow events are happening across europe but not to worry the new york times will feed you the truth and tell you that the polar vortex is caused by global warming and actually it's because the shrinking sea ice and believe it it's a front page headline and then Robert Felix's site, Ice Age Now, has a great article talking about the prosecution of global warming skeptics. Yet when you go to the Democratic National Convention website to look up the article, oops, it's been removed. I wonder why. Because when the Black Sea is freezing, I'm going to start asking questions. And that's what we really need to do is start a discourse because these effects that we're starting to see mimic the pattern of a grand solar minimum. All the while, they're trying to silence anybody trying to bring up the subject. And it also makes me wonder why. Why are they trying to silence anybody talking about repeating patterns in history, cosmic cycles, cycles of societies and ages? And it's not even up for debate in any of the opinion pieces in any of the mainstream media newspapers. You write in about Grand Solar Minimum, Mini Ice Age, that thing goes right in the rubbish bin. 
We already know what happened with ClimateGate and all the emails going back and forth on how to adjust temperature records. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Indeed, Eastern Europe is matching the grand solar minimum cooling areas, literally city for city right now. And take a moment to jump over to GetTheTea.com. The Moringa extract, a superfood plant in itself. Keep your body healthy during these times. Since temperatures are going up and down, sideways, extreme cold, then it's hot. Your body's immune system is going to need a little extra help this season. As well as olive leaf down in Greece, in Spain. This has been known for thousands of years as an immune booster. As well as a great source of antioxidants.